G'day, I'm Bruce and today I'm going to show you how to flush the radiator out of a Bedford four-wheel drive fire truck. We've removed the radiator from the truck. It's quite a heavy, large copper cord radiator. When we got the Bedford fire truck, it only had a small leak in the radiator. And today we're going to flush the radiator and see if we can find out just how bad that hole is and whether we can get it soldered up or not. This is my 40 year old radiator flasher. I built this myself years ago. Um, the brass part here, that was actually a um, like an air tap or steam tap for a um, for a factory to blow the whistle at you know start work, smoke o time, um, dinner time, and then again um, knock off time. I've just got a couple of um, right angle bend gal fittings there, weld them together. Uh, that's a boat roller, ground down, so it'll fit nearly any radiator. And uh, it's been a terrific thing I've done. And um, I had a friend actually turn me up the button here. It used to have a lever on there, which wasn't any good. And basically it's something you can use with one hand. Basically you need one hand to operate it.
after flushing it out, it looks like I've created about another six holes in the radiator, so it's going to be off to get a recall. This is a very good test for radiators. If they can stand up to a good flush out and uh, they don't leak, well, you know you've got a good radiator. But if we would have just got one hole soldered up and put it back in, the next thing it would have started leaking everywhere, well, we would have just shot ourselves in the foot. So at least this way, by good flush out, we know what we've got. We know we're in for a new radiator core. We'll get that done and everybody will be happy. As soon as we get the radiator back from the radiator shop, put the radiator back in, put some inhibitor in, and we'll do a test driving it around the paddock. And I can hardly wait to get in this thing and take it for a good test drive. Thank you everybody that has taken an interest in the old Bedford four wheel drive fire truck. I greatly appreciate all your likes, comments and shares. And thanks again everybody for watching.